So it's really interesting to me to uh, try and make comparisons between two films that have so much time in between them. Um, but I found great merits between um, both Terminator 2 and Logan. Um, the acting in the both of these films is what I'd like to focus on, uh, myself being an actor. Um, and so I watched uh, Terminator 2 first and thought the main players really served their roles well. Um, but I found uh, most of my like issues with uh, the side characters, but I usually have that uh, problem with older films, um, I find. Um, but I'd say the, notice, the most notable uh, performance in the film is uh, from Linda Hamilton. Um, uh, she had the task of playing a sane person, being treated like an insane person. Uh, she has some touching moments with her son uh, and some really harrowing moments in the uh, the bits where she has visions of the future and it's really uh, like terrifying and she she performs it so well it's really uh, it's it, it's a little bit like intense to watch so I put my head off to her uh, for that but my favorite moment for her uh, like with her performance is when she escapes the asylum and runs into the the Terminator who tried to kill her in the previous film, but uh, she doesn't know that he's like not a threat at the moment. But like that whole intense like action scene uh, is really great to watch and she does an awesome job at it. Um, while watching the Logan uh, movie, I found the players overall to give better performances uh, than were given in Terminator, but it was really difficult to find a favorite in this film. Um, because I really like the performances of a lot of uh, characters of Logan, Professor X, Caliban, mm, Laura, and uh, in the entire like family at the farm fields, uh, they like all did really great. And the farm field family is side characters, so uh, I thought it was very well done. So, but the most notable for me was uh, Daphne Keene as Laura. Uh, she had a large portion of the film acting without words. I find that to be the, like the most difficult acting is when you can't use words to express your uh, intentions or emotions or feelings or uh, whatever you want to say. Um, and she did that through quite a bit of the film. And I thought it was impressive to see a child actor become this like animalistic force when she's like creating all this carnage uh, through like killing people and like doing all this like martial arts and like uh, cutting people's throats and they're cutting their heads off and all this stuff. Uh, like, and it's, Impressive to me to see such a small child like do all of this and uh, really sell the performance that she's uh, this hyper aggressive mutant. Um, so it's cool to see that. Um, my favorite bit of hers is when uh, there's an, an improvised scene actually where she's first revealed that she can talk and she bursts out in Spanish and starts hitting Logan in the face uh, and it's beautiful. Um, but after watching these two films, I can say that I prefer Logan uh, over the other because it's just so visceral and real to me. Uh, and it hits so hard when it gets into the gritty scenes. Um, and, uh, and the relationships seem so fleshed out to me that uh, it's just really easy to lose yourself in that world.